So, uh, Rob G, Gilbert Arenas, I don't know. I mean, is this his plan to say stuff, just some ridiculous stuff to get himself out there? I mean, he is a guy, Rob, that you would think would be good on TV. I mean, he was a colorful personality. Uh, his game matched that. He was good enough where, you know, you'd have to give him respect. And um, so I don't know. Maybe he's saying, look, if I say some outlandish stuff, Maybe I'll get recognized, or maybe he believes this foolishness. But anyway, he was on Vlad TV where Rob G and I were talking, where brothers go to say crazy things, Rob. I don't know if you ever watched so Vlad is that TV. It? It's called, it should be called Meshuggah TV because it's crazy. <laughs> it's actually pretty interesting because dudes will say all types of stuff. But, yeah, it's a Vlad TV, and he gets, gets, it, gets it out of these guys. And he had Gilbert Arenas on, and here's what he said. So their numbers are going to be – Higher than yours. They're, it's going to be inflated because the, they're moving faster. They're not sitting there pounding the ball in. So it's hard to really gauge. So I say, you know, I can only go off of from 90 up. You know, anybody before the 90s, I can't, I don't put them in my top 10. So the Bill Russells, you want no. to put in your, in your top 10? No. Um, go ahead. I, go I ahead. don't know initially what. Rob G, what was the what was the initial context of his first comments? Like was he was he, a, he was asked about Steph Curry. He said, it, it, "Where's Steph?" He's like, "He's automatically in my top 10. And then I figured out from there. And then he says, "Well, you know, people say, well, what about guys like Larry Bird? How could you leave them out?" And he's like, "I could easily leave them out." And then he explains why. And he says, "Anybody, of course, who played before 1990 could not be in his top 10 all time." Well, his first of all, his comment about the numbers is wrong. Now, in the 60s the pace of play was frenzied. It was faster. They took more shots, uh, and they missed more shots. Like, they missed a higher percentage of the shots. And that's one reason you see the guys like Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell, and others having these incredible rebounding numbers because they took so many. They, Rob, teams average 115 to 122, 23 shots a game some years. Now they average like 85, 90. Now, 90, I don't know if any even average 90, but around there, 90-ish, 85, 90-ish. And so, and they shot a lower percentage back then. So you not only had, you had way more available rebounds. And then, you know, um, so that was that. That's why the rebounding numbers aren't close to what they used to be. But uh, the pace of play today is high, and half of the shots that these guys take are three-pointers. So if anything, the players today should be scoring more points, Rob. I mean, can you imagine if half of Larry Bird's shot, let's say 35% of Larry Bird's shots were three-pointers? Right. He'd average way more points. I, I, I just, I, I think Gilbert Arenas, the whole conversation is asinine. I, I, what, what did they used to say on uh, first take? Ass a nine, ass a 10, ass a 10, ass a 11. I mean, Chris. <laughs> No, 1990. Stop it. We don't. It's we don't not need even to, right to say before 1970, but at I least know, I might but, get that. But 19, right? 1990, Chris, really? Michael Jordan came into the league in 1984. Right. So you don't he count Michael Jordan. And what he, right. Charles Barkley and Joe Dumars, all those guys were like in the uh, early to mid. Isaiah 80s. Thomas, right? What, Magic what are you Johnson. I mean, if you just go strictly now, Jordan obviously played in the nineties, but if you just want to say a guy that played guys that played the bulk of their careers before nineteen ninety, then you're excluding Magic, Bird, Isaiah, uh, Kareem, uh, and obviously. Russell, Chamberlain, Oscar, Jerry West, Dr. J. Like, really? Come on, Gilbert. You, how about doing a little, you know, making it a little challenge? Chris, how can about I watching say this? a little film and looking at some numbers? and do, You know what I mean? Like, instead of just writing off, I can't even look at the 90s. Can, can we do this, Chris? We, don't, we have a, a couple of, a little bit of footage of Babe Ruth. Just a little bit of footage, right, of him swinging. Some vi most of it is just black and white pictures of Babe Ruth. Right. Do we really? Can we sit here and say Babe Ruth wasn't one of the greatest baseball players who ever played without because we didn't see him play? No, no we can't. Good point. I'm, I'm, Good point. I mean, come on. 
Great point. The numbers speak for themselves. I don't care. who the, the guys he played against, Chris, he didn't run the league. He didn't run that blacks and Hispanics didn't play. Those were the players who played during that day. All he could do was play. And he was way better than everybody who played. I'm sorry. I can't say I'm going to discount him because I didn't watch him play live. It's ridiculous. I think the most you could say about Babe Ruth, if you want to dock him, if you will, you could say, I, I, I don't think he's the best ever. Right, you could. But you, you could certainly couldn't say he's not one of the absolute best ever. That would be j- irresponsible. If 100%. you want to say, hey, they had Josh Gibson, right, and there were, Page, other there were black right. players he wasn't playing against. Okay, so if you want to say he's not the GOAT, fine. But he's up there. He's you can't definitely. say he's not like right in the discussion and up there. Right. And I and I agree with you, Rob. Like, especially now. You you mentioned Babe Ruth, who we don't have much footage of. We got tons of footage of Magic. Uh, and Bird. Right. And All Irving of them. And Dr. J, Julius Irving, for those that, you know, thought Kyrie. But you even, you know, Jerry West, Russell, Oscar, you can find enough, but and then, like you said, Rob, you look at numbers, you look at achievements, accomplishments. Gilbert Arenas, that attitude is the type of attitude, and he didn't say it, and I'll give him, I'll, I won't put this on him, but it's darn close to those foolish youngsters who make comments like, well, not even youngsters. Who was it that said that? Well, it was Iguodala. That said Rasheed Wallace. Would be better than Giannis if he played. Well, that's that's backwards. I'm sorry. He was giving props to the old school. But there are guys, Rob, who've said things like just take a, a, a pretty good player today and say he would be he was better than a superstar of the 80s. You know what I mean? Like and Jason Williams said it the other day, right? Michael Jordan would be an all-star, but you know, he would hey, here's he another would be one. wrecking shop like, it, it, like he did it, it, in the was, 90s. It was the Fitzpatrick versus uh, Aikman. Fitzpatrick has more yards than tr- <laughs> Troy Aikman. I'm sorry. Was that dude new to sports? Right. Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Did you just start start following sports two weeks before you made that Troy comment? Troy Aikman was a part of the last, one of the last dynasties in the NFL, right? One of the last. The Cowboys won three out of four Super Bowls. What are you, what are you talking about? And Rob, They didn't throw the ball like that, Chris. They had a a Hall of Fame, one of the greatest running backs ever. They didn't throw on every down. That's just not the way the game was played. And, and we've talked about this before, but youngins, listen. Because there's a lot of people out there, Rob. The shame was this guy was in the media, but there are a lot. Don't look at the numbers. You can't compare quarterback numbers today to those of yesteryear. You will be sorely disappointed by all the legends, Montana, uh, Bradshaw, Starbuck, Aikman. Oh, we could go on and on and on, Rob. Brett Favre, heck. And here's why. Now, you're going to the, – the, the analytics guys, I bet you, Rob, a lot of them think, man, those dudes weren't that good. Look at that. Look at Favre's interceptions. Right. People jumped on Jameis Winston – Favre had several years like that. And, Chris, he won three straight MVPs. Right. But here's why, y'all. Because back then, football was different. Rob said it. You didn't run it. You didn't throw the ball as much. But more importantly, the quarterbacks could get hammered. It wasn't touch football. It wasn't tackle football for the other 10 positions or 21 positions. And then touch football for the quarterback. Okay, Bradshaw, Staubach, you could tee off on them. So when they're throwing the football, when they're preparing to throw the football, they also knew that they could get shellacked. Real talk. And they they did. And they did. At one point, there were so many injuries to quarterbacks, and Chris, you remember this. That's why they're changing it. Do you remember they changed it in the grasp where you didn't have to pull them all the way down? If you grabbed the quarterback's jersey, it was a sack. Yep. You didn't have to take him down. Remember, in the grasp, they would blow the the whistle and the play would be stopped if you had his jersey. 
There were so many injuries to quarterbacks. Brett Favre had six seasons in which he threw either the same amount of interceptions as touchdowns or more interceptions than touchdowns. Crazy. And it wasn't just that the quarterbacks could get hammered, Rob. It was that the receivers could get hammered. I mean, you know this. Receivers used to be sitting ducks going across the middle, targeting, spearing. All of it was happening. And so the receivers sometimes could hear footsteps and drop balls or or they, they get hit and the ball, you know, goes up in the air and it's an interception. My point is that is why, that is why the old legends has so many more interceptions than the quarterbacks today. Right? You mentioned 13 for Mahomes as if it was a crime. I mean, back in the day. Back that in the was day, that would great. be nothing. Right. That would be, not, that would be nothing. Right. Far through more than 13 interceptions, Rob, or I should say 13 or more interceptions in like uh, uh, all but one of his seasons in Green Bay or, or once he went to Green Bay because remember he started his career in Atlanta and didn't right. play much. And so, you know, it's a different. So just we're just saying don't – if you look at the numbers, don't just throw them out there. You got to understand the context. Uh, but Gilbert Arenas, I, I can't co-sign. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's foolishness. What do you think about him saying no player in before the 90s, before 1990? And, Rob, I mean, Jordan played against those guys. Why don't you include him? Was it the 80s and 90s that much different? You know yeah, what I mean? Uh, yeah, only because Jordan's in it. So that's why he, he would fudge it. Right, exactly. Instead of, right, exactly. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Well, Michael Jordan's different. No, what do you said anybody right. before? The 90s. He yep. played in the 80s. So he, he would tell you count. some of his game. I, I bet he'd say that in the 80s was just as tough as the 90s was for him. He dominated in the 90s, not the 80s. I mean, individually he dominated, but in terms of winning, it was the 90s, not the 80s for Jordan. So,